Hi guys, I am Ankit and in this video we are going to see everything you need to know about getting a mortgage in Germany. So you are planning to buy your first apartment and want to take a mortgage for the same. However, you have no idea how it works in Germany. Don't worry, after this video you will know everything there is about getting a mortgage. In my previous video, I explained the whole process of buying an apartment in Germany. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. It will make you aware of all the steps involved in buying an apartment in Germany. Well, let's not waste any more time and take the first step towards our dream house. I have divided this video in two parts. In this video, we will discuss part one only. And for part two, check the other video linked in the description. In part one, we will see three things. First, we will understand the terms used by the banks in Germany. Then, we will see whom to contact and how to get a credit. Finally, we will check what information bank requires about you and the apartment to give you an estimate or an initial offer. Part 2 video will be covering the paperwork required in the mortgage. Let's check part 1 and understand the terms used while discussing mortgage details with bank. First term is Betrag. It means how much credit you want to take from the bank. Do you want to take 100% of the purchase price as loan or less than that? If you decide to take less, then you have to prove bank that you have the rest of the amount. You can even take more than purchase price. First scenario where you can get more credit is to finance the Nebenkosten. Nebenkosten is the cost involved during the buying process. I have explained it in detail in my last video on process of buying an apartment in Germany. I have mentioned its link in the description. So coming back, getting finance for Nebenkosten is rare and the interest rates would be higher. However, the option is there. Other scenario where you can get more credit is for renovating the apartment. In this scenario, usually interest rates does not increase or vary that much. However, depends on your profile. Next term is Tilgung. Tilgung is the monthly installments you will pay to bank. In Germany, it is not mandatory to pay off complete credit within your mortgage time period. You can finish 20, 30 or any percentage of mortgage within your credit period. Usually bank will ask you how much Tilgung or monthly rate you would like to pay. You can answer it in two ways. First way is to tell them how much monthly euros you are willing to pay. For example, 600 euros every month. Or you can tell them in percentage, for example, 2%. 2%, what does that mean? It means you want to pay off at least 2% of the mortgage amount every year. So what will bank do with this 2%? Bank will take this 2% of your mortgage amount and add the interest you need to pay in it and finally divide that sum by 12 to give your monthly installment. Let's take an example to understand it better. Let's assume you took a mortgage of 200,000 and want to pay a Tilgung of 2%, which means 2% of 200k, which comes out to be 4000 per annum. Consider the interest rate to be 1%, which means 1% of 200k, that is 2000 euros per annum. So our monthly installment according to our formula will be 4000 plus 2000, that is 6000, divided by 12 which is 500 euros per month. One thing to note here is, as you pay your monthly installments, your a principal amount will reduce, and hence the interest you are paying. So with time, you will be paying back more than 2% of the principal every year. That's why I said at least 2% in the beginning. Following Tilgung comes Sol Zin Sats, which means the interest rate. At the time of recording this video, we have historically lowest interest rates in Germany. Well, next term is Dauer der Solzinsbindung, meaning the duration of fixed interest rate or mortgage period, for example 10 years, 15 years or 20 years. Usually longer the period, higher the interest rate. So you need to break a balance between the duration, monthly rate and interest rate. For investors who are planning to rent the apartment, Low monthly rate is more important than lower interest rates. Similarly, for people who are buying for their own use, low interest rate might be more important. One more thing to keep in mind is whether your mortgage interest rates are fixed or not. What does that mean? So fixed interest rate means during your mortgage period, your interest rate cannot change. I would highly recommend to have it fixed 
This way you are protected in case interest rates goes up. Okay, next term is Sonda Tilgum, which literally translates to special payment, which means that you can pay off X percent of the loan amount once every year free of charge. For example, if you have 5% of Sonda Tilgum as an option in your contract, that means you can pay 10,000 extra once every year without any penalty. Having Sonda Tilgum and paying it every year is completely optional. So you can have a Sonda Tilgum option in your contract. However, it does not imply that you have to pay 10,000 every year on top of your monthly installments. You can decide how much you want to pay. You can either pay 2000, 4000 or nothing if you want. What's good about Sonda Tilgum is you can reduce your principal amount quickly and hence pay less interest to bank. It's also good to know that if you do not take Sonda Tilgum as an option, it reduces your interest rate slightly by 0.01 percentage point. Finally, our last term, rest should. It is the credit amount left after your mortgage tenure. As we discussed earlier, you don't have to finish your credit within the credit period. So some amount will be left after your credit period and this amount is called rest should. You can refinance this amount with the same bank or you can go to a different bank. Now we know all the terms used by the bankers in Germany. Let's check who to contact for getting a loan. I would suggest first go to an independent broker like Interhip or Dr. Klein or Check24. The broker's job is to find the best possible offer for you and in return he gets a commission from the bank. Well, my primary purpose of going to a broker is not to get a credit but to get the information about it and to get an idea of the market. You can ask them all kinds of questions or doubts you have, for example, how much credit you can get, documents that are required, whether you are eligible to get a credit in Germany or not. You can even ask them questions related to buying and selling process. So they are good source of information and sometimes you can even get a good deal for your mortgage. However, the thing is, if your broker tells you that you can get an offer, do not believe his words blindly. He is just a middleman between you and the bank. Only bank can tell whether you will get a particular offer or not. I have experienced it the hard way. I went to a broker and he said I can get an offer which was very good. But when the time came, he gave me a completely different offer, which you can guess was really bad. I have even heard from sellers the bad stories about these brokers. So some sellers don't even consider to look at the letter provided by a broker stating you are eligible for a credit. So visit them, get information. However, do not plan your purchase on their word. This is when banks come in picture. Once you have an idea about the market and you know what you want, go to the bank where you have an account and ask them for an offer. If your home bank gives you an offer, even verbally, it has more value than a broker's written letter. Now you know whom to contact. Next step is to check the information bank will need to give you an offer. Bank will need information about you and the apartment you are planning to buy. Let's see what data bank needs about you. First is your net monthly income. Then sources of your income, whether you are employed or run your own business or you have any rental income or not. Bank will also be interested in how much savings or cash you have to cover the name and cost in. Next is your living situation, whether you are living in a rented property or of your own. If you are living in a rented property, then what is the rent? And finally, do you have any other credit or loan? If yes, how much it is and for what purpose? Next is the information about the apartment. First thing here bank would like to know is in which price range you are looking for an apartment. Next is whether you are planning to buy a new apartment or an old. If it's an old apartment, there is a possibility of renovation. So some banks even finance the renovation costs. Lastly, whether you want to rent the apartment or live in it yourself. This helps bank to know how much rental income you can get if you rent the apartment or how much rent you can save if you live in that apartment yourself. Well, 
once bank have all this information they will tell you an approximate range within which you can get a credit ask bank to give the same in writing so that you can show it to the seller during your visit to issue such letter bank may need an exact apartment so just give a dummy apartment within your range which bank can use as reference bank may give you the letter at the same time or may take few days depending on who is your consultant in one bank my consultant had the authority to give me that letter immediately after checking my profile and other took 2 days to give me that letter having this letter is completely optional however i highly recommend to have it before your visit as it immensely increases your odds to get an apartment well after this exercise you will know what you can afford and will also have that in writing from a bank so this ends our part 1 For part two, check my other video. It will explain the documents and paperwork involved in this mortgage process. So this is it, guys. Hope you found this video useful. If yes, do not forget to hit the like button. It helps people to find this video on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be creating new videos on real estate, stocks, and everything to do about investment. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. or if there is anything i missed or you want me to cover in my next videos stay healthy everyone and see you next time bye